Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our meditation on the sixth beatitude. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And in the previous video, we talked about the incident or the episode in the life of Christ where a blind man, Bermaeus, cried out to the Lord with his whole being, that is his whole heart, for Christ to heal him. And today we're going to reflect a little bit more on the heart and what it means to be pure of heart. One of the things that we realize in the totality of the Beatitudes, all of them, though we're only a little bit more than halfway through, we'll begin to see that Christ is teaching us a way of life, a life of faith that we can live, telling us how to be, how to act, how to interact with other people in the world. And so purity of heart speaks to the character of the disciple, what we ought to be, how we ought to be as Christ's disciples. And so these words of blessed are the pure of heart for they shall see God tell us that a disciple of Christ, someone who follows him, who strives to be members of him as we are in the church, is a person with integrity, with honesty, and who engages in the world without pretense. Someone who is devoted to God, who seeks God with their whole being. The Psalms give us a, a good example of what this looks like. In Psalm 23, we read a person who is pure is one whose mind are not obsessed with idols, who do not swear deceitfully, that, share, that shall carry away a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from God their Savior. Such are they who turn to the Eternal One, who seek the presence of the God of Jacob. Someone who, this is what we're hearing, someone who lives well, who lives authentically with intentionality in relationship to God is someone who is beginning to cultivate purity of heart. And the heart in the scriptural language and in the history of the church and the teachings of the church, it's not just an organ, as we've said. It's not just the physical thing beating in my chest. It is the whole person. It is a way of expressing the reality of the whole person. And it's also the very core of our being, the center of our physical and spiritual existence, the totality of who we are. And so we're called in this beatitude to have the fullness of our being pure, and in doing so, we will begin to see God. And we kind of understand this in our language. We can make these connections. When we talk about purity of heart, or we're talking about the heart and recognizing that it has to do with the fullness of our being, our language expresses that, even in English. We say things like, I'm heartbroken when I have a great emotional heart hardship or when I'm fully enthusiastically doing something I do something wholeheartedly someone who is a good quality person who gives freely and joyfully is someone with a heart of gold and someone who is a little thick-headed and uncaring doesn't always do what's right towards others, and it is unwilling to change is someone who is hard-hearted. All of these express realities of how we orient the fullness of our being, and they become characteristic terms of the type of lives that we live. And so someone who seeks to be pure in heart is someone who seeks to do good 
to live well, but to do so with the fullness of their being, to avoid pretense and judgment. It also is not just someone who does the right things on paper because there are rules, but someone who, with the fullness of their being, acts with intention to do these good things, to be goodness and love in the midst of the world. And in the next video, we'll reflect a little bit more on what this means by way of an example that the Lord gives us of how there could be two different approaches to how we live our life of faith. One that leads to purity of heart and one that is a clear indication of malice and ignorance in our hearts. That is, an ignorance or malice in the very core essence of our being. Until then, I pray that you're well. Know that we love you. We're thinking about you, praying for you. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave a note in the comment section, send us a message on social media. Whatever you need, we're here for you. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and God bless.